Fork is a 2-6 player food chain trick-taking game from Sunrise Tornado Games, designed by Tate Wu with illustrations by Lily Chin. Setup and gameplay vary slightly by player count, but in this video, I will explain how to play a 4-6 player game. Set the terrain card to the 4-6 player side, face up on the table, showing all 4 terrain types. Deal 1 fox card to all players, and return any extra to the box, removing them from the game. Shuffle the remaining cards and deal 12, 9, or 8 cards depending on the player count. All players may look at and arrange their hand of cards however they like, keeping them secret from the other players. The youngest player is the starting player. When playing multiple games, the player who scored the lowest in the previous game becomes the start player for the new game. The object of Fork is to score the most points. Points are scored by winning cards in rounds or tricks. Each round, players choose a card from their hand to be played and compared against the other players. Fork is a game about the food chain, and as such, certain cards are used to capture and score opponents' cards. Foxes at the top of the food chain, followed by owls, then rabbits, and finally kale. These cards all interact with each other in unique ways. To begin the round, the start player chooses one of the terrain types indicated on the terrain card. This action indicates the active cards that must, if possible, be played from all players' hands in this round. For instance, if the starting player chooses the desert, all players must play cards that match the desert suit. With the exception of the fox, which can be played at any time and is always considered to be part of the current active terrain. Once terrain is chosen, all players choose a card from their hand and play it in front of them, beginning with the start player and continuing clockwise until all players have played a card in front of them. If a player doesn't have a card matching the active terrain in their hand, they may play any other card in their hand. All cards must be placed face down, with the exception of any Kale cards, which are placed face up for all to see. When all players have made their choice, all cards are flipped face up and scoring for the round begins. Tricks are resolved from the highest number card to the lowest in the following order. Foxes are resolved first. However, if two or more players have played a fox in the same round, all foxes are discarded immediately. If only one fox is revealed, the player that played the fox may then choose any face-up, owl, or rabbit in play as long as it matches the round's terrain. To do this, they simply take the card they wish to score, discard their fox, and place the captured card face-up in front of them in a scoring pile. After foxes, owls that are still in play and that match the lead suit are then scored. Owls may capture a face-up rabbit matching the lead suit that's still in play. The owl is then discarded, and the captured rabbit is then added to the player's score pile. After owls come any rabbits in the lead suit that are left. They may take a kale card from the lead suit. The player discards the rabbit and adds the kale card to their score pile. The number two and three rabbits in each suit have a special ability. However, this ability is only active if the played rabbit matches the current round's terrain. This special ability allows the rabbits to take a kale left on the table even if the kale doesn't match the round's terrain. Finally, any kale cards of the lead suit that remain at the end of the round are added to the player's own scoring pile. Any cards that are discarded after or during a round are no longer used for the remainder of the game. The game ends after one player has five cards in their score pile at the end of the round, or if all players run out of cards. If no one meets that criteria, the player to the left of the previous starting player leads the next round choosing the lead suit. When the end game criteria is met, players compare their points from their collected cards. All cards indicate their point value at the bottom of the card. Owls are worth two points. Rabbits are worth between one and three points. Kale cards score points based on the amount that a player collects. Players can score at most five Kale cards in a single round. When playing a six player game, the game is played in three teams of two players should sit across from each other and score their hands separately throughout the course of the game. When the game ends, teammates combine their scores and the highest combined score wins the game. In all instances of play, if players can score a card, they must. The exception to this is in team play, when you may not score a teammate's card. As an optional variant, you can play with Dale's Kale. If a player does not have a card of the lead terrain, they may play any card from their hand. If the card is a Kale, it may be played sideways. In this case, the Kale is now part of the lead terrain. 
When resolving the trick, surviving rabbits in the lead terrain may score the sideways kale. If the sideways kale survives, the player who placed the kale can then score it. And that's how you play Fork with two players.